and it's going to be dark biome. What you'll want to do from there is come out five blocks, one, two, three, four, five, and fly. You're going to want to make it a soul sand elevator. So you're going to want to surround it with glass. You're going to want to surround it with glass. And yeah, you, you want to put water. and kelp so yeah, you'll want to make a, a column that's over 64 blocks tall or taller mine just ended up in an ocean then you're go you're gonna want to put a sign here and then you're gonna want to put block of water here okay and you're gonna want to make all these water source blocks you you should use kelp but for this purpose I'll just I'll just you know, I'll just fill it all in. Sorry, you have to hear all that. See, so yeah, after you do all that, you want to come up to the top. I forgot to put some water here. Hold on, let me fix this real quick. Put powdered snow in all of these. This might be a little tricky, but... No, why is it not going down? You have to make sure you start from the top, though. It'll make bubbles instead of... It'll turn the water bubble column into just bubbles. You also want to make sure this sign right here is not waterlogged. As you can see, 
we can see bubbles. Obviously, if you're doing this in survival mode, it would be easier. It would be harder, actually. You'd have to go to the side of the block. So, I, I guess I recommend doing the soul sand elevator thing first. And then as soon as you put all the, the, the snow, what you'll want to do is come up to the top. And then you're going to want to just place water on the bubble column and it'll just have, make you bubbles. It'll get rid of the snow for you. And now you have a bubble column that has no water in it. This will be what you'll use to get the wardens up here. Then after you do that, you will want to set up a chest and a hopper. Like some, something like this. And then you're going to put water here. The sign will prevent it from going more down. And that will be used to drown the wardens. It's a slow process, admittedly, but it will work. How'd I get here? And basically, that's the setup you're gonna use for the warden. Let me show you how to use the farm. Oh, for almost forgot to mention. You're gonna also want this. It's you basically have a note block, an observer facing it. up here we'll see the warden start taking damage and get and drown as you can see the wardens are drowning and those the skull catalysts are being collected 
once they drown. I'll come back when they're actually dead. Make a chunk loader. Um, you could also make a mob switch using this by just letting a bunch of wardens spawn. And then also constantly grabbing their attention with note blocks. As you can see, the warden actually died. Hold on, there's a few things I gotta do. Apparently there's water. And it, it'll go down the collection system. Granted that you're not under an ocean and the water got in the way. Yeah, it'll go through there. And that is your warden farm for Minecraft Bedrock Edition. I've yet to make it an easy way to access the collection system, but I bet if you made a soul sign elevator uh, parallel to this, it'll just take you straight up there. And this is how you can make a warden farm in Minecraft Bedrock Edition 1.19. I just made this, and I hope you guys like it. Um, it's, it's it, the warden will, won't escape in this farm unless you either make a bunch of noise and it kills you, or yeah, that's about it that can happen. But it will always go to this area and always go up the Soul Sand Elevator right here. Dizzy does a lot of cool mechanics, and I, I hope you guys like this farm. Um, find it useful, maybe flex on your friends. It only drops Skull Catalyst, so there's not really that big of a use to this farm. But the fact that you can farm the Mo Mojang's hardest boss is incredible to me. Alright, that's that's the end of this the, t the tutorial, I guess. Uh, like and subscribe for, for more stuff like this.